Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to make some faux Polaroids um, with acetate and some plain card, a little bit of stamping and some stickers and some faux ephemera. So I thought they would be quite nice, just kind of clipped in to onto a, a journal page just as a little bit of decoration. So you could just use a little plain paper clip and just clip them on. And it just kind of fills up a little bit of a space or you could just slide them into a pocket just as decoration. They could even um, be a journal topper if you had a little journal to decorate the front. So lots of uses for a faux Polaroid. So we'll just leave that one to the side there just to keep us inspired. So I have die cut the Polaroid bases using this die. It's from Mama Elephant. There's no name on it to tell you what the, what the name of the die is, but I'm guessing if you search for Polaroid die or something like that, you'd probably be able to find one or one similar. It's got a littler size and it's got a few wee um, arrows and flags as well and some speech bubbles in the set but I have used this often it's quite a handy die so it's Mama Elephant for the one I've got I've had it a little while and, uh, and it cuts out this if you don't have a die then obviously cut out a rectangle and then a square uh, there and leaving a little block at the bottom and, uh, and you can do much the same so I've got two acetate pieces here, probably can't see them. And what I did was we just sandwiched the acetate between two of the die cuts. So we'll just do that right now, just to get started. Um, my gluey thing, I'm going to just use this today. Let's put all the pieces on there and then we'll be able to see them, I think. Right. So I just cut the acetate just ever so slightly smaller so that it will glue on. So just smaller than the edge of the die cut. I'm just going to use my glue stick and just do a little bit of glue around the edges and then the acetate there And one of the frames for the back or the front. <laughs> we'll see which side looks nicest. I think they'll both look the same. So a little more glue around there just to create a sandwich. And obviously you don't need to use plain white cards. You could cut from coloured cards. Um, I thought about doing a black one but um, changed my mind. Now you can see that there's a little bit of glue has come on to the acetate there and I really don't mind that because we want them to look quite old and I'm happy with little bits of glue and little splodges because well <laughs> then it maybe looks a wee bit older than what it really is. Right, I have got tea dye and vintage photo and a little bit of sponge. So I'm just going to use the tea dye first and that's just really to kind of swipe my white and just take away a little bit of the whiteness and 
There we are. Now it's tea tight, and then I'm going to use the other end of my sponge and just go around the edge and just darken the edge a little bit with the vintage photo. It doesn't matter if it's oxide or original, um, you're just using it for the edges. Okay, so we want to distress it a little bit more and add a little bit more messiness to it. So I've got this little stamp. This stamps out just a kind of splodge. <laughs> um, I, I've had it for many years. I don't have the packaging anymore. I just keep it on that little block because I use it quite a lot. And I'm just going to use the vintage photo and just go off the edge a little bit. Yeah. That makes a difference, doesn't it? So, then we want to add some labels. So, we have a little collection here of labels. These are Tim Holtz. I just, I treated myself to some Tim Holtz bits and bobs for Christmas. I had some Christmas money. I think that's quite a good one. And um, and I just, I just went for it and got some bits. So these are all Tim Holtzy bits with these little labels and then these little number strips. And I don't have the packaging anymore. I'll maybe use a round one this time. Um... No, I don't have the packaging, but I think if you go on to wherever you buy your bits, you'll see them. Right, I'm going to add some washi to underneath first before I stick that label down. Let's do this label first. Here's my bit of sponge. There we are. <laughs> we'll just do that. I'm not a big, a big inker of edges, but when it comes to this sort of thing where you're making something look older than what it actually is, just to go with, uh, you know, in the scheme of things, Polaroids would naturally be a little bit older, I think, and so... Um, It would be natural that they would be I think a little bit dirty dirty round the edges. <laughs> right, number five five eight. there. And so I've got a set of stickers and I've also got this little, that's not going to do that, it's too big. Let's put Let's choose a leaf. This one. Now, I've seen people on Facebook thinking that these aren't stickers, but you can tell if you look on the back, you can sort of see the outline. And um, but at first glance, they don't look like stickers, and they do take a little bit of patience to find the edge. And maybe another number up here. Um, here's a big long one. It's too long, I think. Maybe if I 
I need a short one. I maybe should have put the number down and the number on or this on before I put the sticker on. I quite like that one. But I'm going to try and lift my sticker up. <laughs> should have made decisions before you put the sticker on and I'm just going to go over just the side of my frame there there yeah Yeah, I like them. Let's do one more. And maybe what we'll do is we'll use that little photograph this time. So, I'm going to put glue down there. Oh, that's a big glob there. Let's keep that there. It must be in my nature not to throw anything away, even real globs of glue. <laughs> and we'll just spread it with our finger. that for a minute and again I've got quite a lot of glue on this one but that's okay because I think that just takes away the the plainness of the acetate makes the acetate look like old glass you know that somebody's tried to clean or somebody's painted and made a mess years and years ago like how you get in old houses where the windows have got little bits of... Yeah, I think maybe we'll, um, we'll use a photograph this time. Just to have one a little bit different. So let's see. We don't need this glue mat anymore. Or do we? Let's do some of the inking first. Right. So let's do Oh, I'm properly making a mess of the acetate because I've got glue in my fingers. <laughs> right. That was tea dye. The darker one. This vintage photo. There we are. And we'll leave the vintage photo out so that we can do our splodge. Now, do we want it in the centre or what? And do we want a little label across? Mm -hmm. 
1888. I don't think those girls are that old. Maybe find one with a number, another date on it. Here's number four, five, two. That's quite a better size, I think. Put that down there. Maybe we will put it in the middle. Right, and then maybe we will add some washi tape. the background of the photograph. this one link there yeah over to the side a tiny little bit and maybe we'll put something else up here what have we got i got this nice little dish in the charity shop for 50 pence <laughs> oh that's quite cute And I thought, you know, I'm going to use that for all my new wee bits. What's this down here? Oh. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Right, so that starry thing. Hmm. These are too big. Another number. Quite a good one. You get loads of these in a pack, and I know that you could stamp them out yourself, but you know, it's quite a, it's quite good to have these little little labels. I think. Right, I think we'll go for either this, which says Traveller, which is quite good, or this. I quite like the Traveller, and I'm going to nudge it right up to the edge there. And that makes that one a wee bit different. Yeah, so there we are. 
we have two kind of naturey ones and one with a photograph. Yes, I'm happy with them. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. A nice easy one to get me started. I've not made anything for a little while. I've put a couple of videos on. One was the, the journal flip through from my 2023 journals. And then the last one was Daphne's Diary. So this is the first little make I've been made, I've done in the new year. So I'm happy to get back on it and back into it. And this was a nice easy one to get me started. So thanks for joining me today. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.